back. If you didn't see, um, we're on the crown land. And we're gonna do a little crown land cooking, I think. Sorry, got distracted. Um, yeah, this just reminded me of something. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. But uh, if you're wondering why I'm dragging this cart, it's because I can't really access where we're going <laughs> with my car. I used to with my truck, but as you know, I don't have a truck anymore. So I have this little wagon and I just threw everything in that. And uh, well, we'll get our exercise in anyway. I don't know if you can see, but we've got quite a steep hill and it's very rocky. I hope my little wagon from Walmart can can make it. And this right here is another reason it might not be the best idea to bring a car down here because um, that's almost big enough to fit a tire through. Yeah. Nice little trout fishing spot. Ask me how I know. Crown land is great. It's nice that you can enjoy some free camping. But seriously, don't be a snatch. Bro, like what the heck? <sighs> On the way back, if I have room in my wagon, I'm definitely gonna pick up this trash. And who knows, I might just come back for that tent. My god. People. Ugh. Uh-oh. I wonder how low this cart is. Hmm. Well, that makes for a fine little off-roading buggy. Alright, this is what distracted me earlier. See this yellow birch right here? Let me show you. If you peel off a limb, and you see that little nice green fresh stuff exposed. Give that a sniff. <sniffs> Smells just like root beer pop or root beer soda if you're American, but yeah, try it sometime. Smells like root beer. You'll be holding on to a yellow birch branch your whole hike and sniffing root beer. Well, we've arrived at our destination. It's been a while since I've been here. I don't think I've ever had you guys down here before. Um, nice spot to catch trout in here too. Just past that point right there, the lake really opens up. This is kind of just a cove. But I've had my little eight foot boat in here and went all through. It's very, very rocky, but uh, you know, it's manageable, especially when the water's this high. So we got our fire pit, which I had to quickly kind of assemble because I had one here before and for some reason somebody had it taken apart. <laughs> so it's kind of a sad looking one, but uh, I think we can work with it. As first, I have to get a fire going um, and try to get a nice bed of coals to cook on, but I'm starving. So yeah, let's get started. I totally cheated. I brought newspapers, cause uh, yeah. Do have a little birch bark there, give me some credit, come on. Yeah, definitely don't have time to be out here rubbing two sticks together either, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my lighter. By the way, the burn ban that was on here has been lifted, so this is totally legal.
Well, it's a sad looking fire, but I'm trying. <laughs> Birch bark is the best stuff you can burn. And it just so happens that there's a lot of it laying around here from wood that somebody had previously cut. But you see what I'm saying? It burns. I'm also trying to be kind of careful because I think everybody's a little paranoid of what went on here not long ago. I really hope I don't have any visitors of the human kind or bear or canine kind as well. But this is right off of an ATV trail, so hopefully we don't have any visitors. We are going to be making campfire hash. Very simple recipe, but also delicious. Honestly, anything over the campfire, in my opinion, is delicious. That fire is hopefully going to get going well. I'm gonna start peeling potatoes, my least favorite part. Okay, potatoes are peeled. Next up, onion. Starting to lose faith in my fire over there. It's not, uh, not going great, you know? All right, potatoes and onions are peeled. I'd like to get that going a bit better, um, just so I, whew, I'm getting smoked out. I'd really prefer to just have like a nice bed of coals, but um, yeah, good things take time, man. And I'm getting hangry. <laughs> but I do know that in here somewhere, oh my goodness, at least I hope, <gasps> There it is, there's a beer. Oh, I thought it was gonna spray at me from going off-roading. Cheers. I'm really struggling with this fire. I mean, it's doing a lot of smoking and not a whole lot of flaming, you know what I mean? Guess I should have brought more kindling with me. <laughs> now I'm picking up what I can, but I mean, we've had a lot of rain, so yeah. Well, look at that. The potatoes and the onion will have a nice smoky flavor. <laughs> and so will my beer. All right. Just goes to show you the power of wind, eh? Speaking of wind, the wind is picking up here a little bit. I hope it doesn't pick up too much. My beer's almost gone. I do have another one though. <laughs> I'm gonna save that one for the meal if I ever get to eat. Dare I say, I think we're onto something now. I'm just gonna let that burn and kinda burn down a bit. <sighs> I don't know. Fingers crossed. I'd like to get to cooking here pretty soon. I'm gonna get something going here because my potatoes are starting to brown. They're like, no, no, we're not having this. Whew, I hope that stays. Not in the most level position, but uh, <laughs> as long as you can make it work, I guess. I forgot the garlic. I 
do have garlic salt, but I think some moisture got into this because it just does not come out. So a little black pepper, and I'm thinking maybe some cayenne. Yeah. Just a little, little spice in there. Why not? Come on. Whew, I gotta, whoops, toss in some more butter because flames are a little high here and I'm impatient. Anyway, while we're waiting for the potatoes to cook, we're gonna slice up some snassages. We're getting there. I want the potatoes to be a little more done than that because uh, they're still kind of hard. Time check, 7.21. I think I got here a little before six, so. Oh, there's a bird up there. Oh. I think that was a Vireo. Which one? I'm not sure. So far, no visitors of the human or animal kind, thankfully. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Potatoes just take so long to fry, honestly. But this smells delicious. Beer number one empty. Oh my gosh, I had more newspaper. I should have used that when I needed it. And going for beer number two. Beautiful spot though. It's so nice to be out here with not another soul around. At least I hope. That's just creepy. A little while longer on the potatoes. Um, they're still a little bit, a little hard, but I'm half tempted on just throwing the sausage in with them while they cook the rest of the way. I think I might do that. I'm getting impatient. <laughs> Woo, mess in the eyes. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Smoke. Okay, potatoes, you must be getting done. I'm soon just going to eat this anyway. <laughs> While they're getting there, I'm going to start adding the other ingredients. So we're going to add this little can of chopped green chilies. Pretty proud of myself that I remembered to bring a can opener. And not quite a full can of corn. I'm just going to put in what I feel like is going to work. Also, I'm going to drain it because I don't want that. I don't want that in my hash. So let's see here, maybe about that much, there's still some in the can. Yeah, so at this point you pretty much just wait until it's heated through and then you're good to go. 
Would you eat campfire hash? Comment down below what your favorite campfire recipe is because I'm curious. Who knows, maybe I'll get back out here or somewhere else and make it. All right, well, it might be 7.40 p.m., but I think we got ourselves some supper. Yeah. Well, I brought a container to put the leftovers in, so um, I think I'm going to eat out of this because I didn't bring anything else. <laughs> There's a lot to try and remember when you come out to the woods to go cooking. <laughs> I almost said camping. There's a lot to bring when you go camping, too. We got the leftover campfire hash I'll put in the container. Now I gotta clean all this up, but I gotta get this grate out of here so it can cool down before I take that with. The last time I came down here and had a fire and cooked, I left the grate that I had just like that one here, <laughs> thinking that somebody else could use it. And yeah, I came back and it was gone. So I'm guessing somebody else really could use it somewhere else. My fire that was once very pitiful is um, on its way out, which is good. I'd like to see this out before I leave. In the meantime, I did bring a fishing rod, a little collapsible, you know, but I don't have any worms. But I do have some corn. The first ever rainbow trout that I caught. 16 incher by the way was on corn so hey i don't know may as well give it a shot that's uh that's different but uh <laughs> yeah we'll see yeah i'm thinking maybe a worm would have been a a good option but um didn't bring any of those. I'm totally caught on a lily pad. Dang, get off of there. The corn wasn't doing it tonight. Anyway, I think I'm gonna put this fire out, clean up my mess, and get out of here because it's probably about eight o'clock and I'm gonna get out of here before all the critters start coming out you know I brought some baby wipes just gonna try to do a quick little wipe obviously I will wash this when I get home, but I'm going to throw a bunch of stuff in a garbage bag. I'm going to leave my little pieces of wood here in case the next person comes along and wants to use them. I'm also going to pick up other people's trash because apparently they're too lazy to do it themselves. Anything else laying around? What the heck is that? A brake pad? If I still had my truck, I would totally truck camp right there. And I planned on it. But then I got rid of my truck. Never put things off. <laughs> Can't forget you. I brought a compost bag too for my food scraps because, you know, I didn't want to leave those out here. 
Hmm. Might be able to use these for something. Well, we're all packed up and ready to go. There's no more garbage. Everything's cleaned up. Got my compost, my garbage, my can in the bucket. Just finishing the last little bit of my second beer. But, uh, yeah. I had fun. Let me know if you enjoy this style of video. If so, I'm sure we'll do it again. But I had fun. Hopefully you did too. Hopefully you're all doing well. And hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Cheers. All right, my little off-road beast. Back to civilization we go. Sort of. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a tad bit nervous about running into bears. Because there's lots of sows out right now with their cubs. See, even the squirrels got me spooked. Ugh. I want no part of that. Because, uh, yeah. I really don't think I could outrun a bear, you know? And I'm full of beer and campfire hash. I wonder if Walmart sells mud tires for this bad boy. You again. Don't worry, I'll pick up all your trash. Seriously. Oh my god. Oh look, not surprised. You've got cans down here all along the brook. Your dry ice. Wow. Ew, and I just spilled some on me. Awesome. <sighs> oh my gosh. It's everywhere! Also, let's just have a fire in the middle of an ATV trail, because we're that lazy. I will be back for you another day, don't you worry. Since we're already on Crown Land, um, I couldn't help myself. I just stopped at this other lake real quick because sometimes I fish for white perch here. And I don't have worms, but I do have some leftover snassages, so we'll see if they want to nibble on some of that. Doesn't have to look pretty, but you know. Oh my god, the mosquitoes are terrible. Yay! Finally! Just another small white perch. Oh! 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 Yep. Okay. This one's a bit of a bigger white perch, thankfully. Calm down. Yeah, you're not so bad. Calm down. Oh, calm down, calm down. Told you guys I could catch a fish on some snossages. 
No, I'm kidding. I used to catch white perch all the time on raw hot dogs, so yeah. This one's a little bit bigger than the last, but still mighty small. Thank you for the bite.